Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maria. Today we are making our first fall craft. Let's get to it. Okay, so today we're making a DIY fall flower wagon. So we just need um, so a crate from the dollar store. Dollar store now has these round wood pieces that you can use um, for anything. But I'm going to start by painting um, my little crate and a little dowel um, stick from the dollar store with my DIY paint. This is a uh, mint chip and then I'm going to walk you through the rest. But this is a pretty green that I will be incorporating in my crafts for the fall along with other colors that will be coming up in the coming weeks. Okay, so after I was going to start dipping my, <laughs> my paintbrush in my container, I said, you know what, let me just use it from the lid. Um, I should have put it in my paint palette, but I was already set up and I did not want to move. So, yes, I got lazy and I ended up just using the paint from the lid. Um, I didn't really want to put the paintbrush inside the container, but anyway, I guess this is me being picky. But we're going to paint this and then after um, I painted this, I ended up taking out the wood pieces that I was going to use as the wheels because they're going to be the wheels. I did take out four. Um, so I end up measuring it to see how I'm going to do it, which ones I'm going to do it. I did want to make sure that they were the same size each because I didn't want to use two different sizes because then it was going to be a little wobbly. So I did get two sets of those, um, but I am using this one because this one was a little wider. The circles were a little wider and they look better for like the wheels of the wagon. Okay, so after painting my wagon, I did pull out my dowel sticks to paint it because I forgot to paint that after I did the when I was doing the wagon. But anyway, I started off with the little handle. Um, I did want to use a paper clip. Um, I could have clearly used a piece of the dowel stick and cut it or whatever, but I didn't feel like doing that. Um, and I used a paper clip and my wire cutters and my small pliers and I cut a piece out of it. I made it into like a little handle um, and stuff like that. And then... I put it together with the stick um, I glue it onto the stick because I don't know I just wanted to be different I don't know I'm pretty sure somebody else did this before but this is how I wanted to do the handle to it um, but um, yeah so I did that and then I do glue it together I also cut my stick to a length that was a pretty good length for it so yeah
so after putting my dowel stick together with the little handle um, and then painting it um, the mint chip I am going to use a method that I've seen other crafters use before but I personally never did it before but I wanted to try it and I figured that this would be the perfect craft to do it with so um, I grab Vaseline petroleum jelly however you want to call it um, and um, put it on the paper towel and I do rub it on everything on all around the crate um, and on the handle and after that I do use my other DIY paint um, I believe it's called crinoline and I paint over the mint chip so I do paint it over the mint chip over the Vaseline so everything's painted all over again so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before other people have done it before so I'm not the only one who's done it but it was the first time for me um, so it was pretty cool I actually liked it I thought I painted everything I'm like wait is this really gonna come out but anyway after I painted it I didn't let it completely dry because I don't know I felt like it wasn't gonna come out if it did because like I said it's the first time I'm doing it so I let it dry a little bit not completely but I did wipe it off with a paper towel and this is how it came out you can actually see the green from underneath it because the spots that the Vaseline was on the other paint did not stick to it didn't adhere to it so as I was wiping off the excess paint the green was coming out like you can see it coming through um, which I kind of liked I liked how it turned out um, I should have used a darker paint but um, I was okay with that because I did want I did want to use this color on something um, for the fall so I liked how that came out <laughs> you guys should try it. I thought it was pretty cool um, but anyway here I am taking the little pieces of wood and I'm taking off some of the pieces that were like coming off or whatever um, and I do sand them down as well before I glue them onto the little crate So here I am putting the glue on the crate because I'm going to add my wood pieces as the wheels. Now I did pick out four pieces that I was going to use. However, I end up using three pieces instead. Two in the back, one in the front. Because after I sand it down, I think I sand, down, I sand one down a little too much. And it was a little bit wobbly. And I didn't like the way it was wobbly so I ended up changing my mind just sticking with the one. So um, after that was I was done doing that and gluing them together, um, I do glue my handle and all of that to it and then I put my styrofoam inside because now it's the fun parts. I am adding my fall flowers on here, which I had fun doing, so continue watching. <music> So here I am adding my beautiful flowers to this um, crate. Um, fall is one of my favorite seasons. Um, spring is the other one, but fall is the one that I think I probably decorate for more. Um, I don't know, it could be the colors of the leaves when they change, the pumpkins, all of that. Um, I love it. Um, but I did have fun doing this craft. It was the first time I was making this little wagon. Um, I thought it turned out really, really cute. Um, even the colors that I incorporated. I'm using a blue color this year. Um, not a lot, like a lot of people used it last year. I wanted to do it this year. Um, but I added the flowers, everything. It came out really cute. I am going to be doing a few more fall crafts coming up. Um, as well as epoxy. So if you like epoxy, keep watching. Um, in the coming weeks um but i hope you like this video i think it turned out really really nice i enjoyed making it um but thanks for watching thanks for taking the time to watch my video um please like and subscribe for more bye